Yeah, and PR Rock, he has been one of the premier American players of Street Fighter 4 in the past couple of years. Yeah. Top eight, two years in a row at Evolution. Ricky Ortiz, of course, got second place to Daigo in 2010, the same year that we were talking about yep. Gamer B with that coming out party. Ricky Ortiz has always been a strong player in any game he touches. So smart, and his reactions yeah. are incredible. His, his Rufus style, you'll see a little bit different than, than Justin's. Yeah. It's a little bit less ground-based. He can play that ground, but it's not what he tends to do. A little wilder, yeah. More offensive, like more aggressive. More, more airborne, yeah, yeah. You, you already see that. And you can see PR Rog, probably very familiar with the style, playing oh, yeah. a very defensive and slow game. Because PR Rog is a pretty aggressive guy himself. But he's making sure to pick his spots right now. Oh. Nice reaction. They both have great reactions. Nice. Oh, that's going to be Crouching Fierce, Optimus Select, Crouch Tech. Yeah. Hitting Optimus Select, Throw Tech. Hitting hard punch, light punch, and light kick all at the same time. Is he going to spend Ultra? Not quite. And he goes for the extra damage rather than the setup afterward. Oh, very fortunate for PR Rog that Ricky jumped at that moment, gets him out of the corner as he goes under the dive kick. Ricky staying on the ground. Oh. Playing very carefully. PR Rock saw the pressure wasn't working out. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh a very uh, read there from Ricky, but it just did not pay off because it wasn't the right read. Oh, no answer here from Ricky right there. Uh, he missed the jab. Ooh. Wow! Control. I really like that timing after that jab dash punch. First time he took control like that after it. Ricky thought he could move forward. Rog shuts it down. Yeah, PR Rog, you can tell, playing such a careful game right now. He's so exact, so precise. You know, I tell a lot of people who aren't as familiar with fighting games, these guys, every button they hit, there's a purpose for it. There's not a useless button or action at all. And PR Rog right now, okay. very precise, but Ricky has gotten his momentum going now. Yeah, that's something Ricky will do if he thinks you're going to crouch tech and he has some bars. Even sometimes if he doesn't have meter to make himself safe, he'll do it. Whoa, backdash yeah. right through that sweep. Well, that back, that, that sweep is a pretty hard read. Here so we're we going to get a corner situation out of this. Not a lot of damage, but that's not what PR Rog's looking for. He is sitting on a full bar now, so any charge that he knows he's going to connect... Oh would go into super, but... Tough to react to wow. that. Uh, that one he didn't quite do. Oh, you see him bringing out that medium punch. Oh, Good smart, yeah. over. Oh, is he gonna super to juggle? Yes! Very smart. One, two, three. That should be it. Yes, and the last hit is gonna do it. PR Rog takes game one. There you see him, Edu Eduardo Perez from Puerto Rico. He made his name in 2009 when he showed up at the top eight of Evolution and nobody had heard of this guy. In fact, his nickname, PR Balrog, came because no one knew his real name and they were just right, like, yeah. he's that PR Balrog player. Exactly. All right, PR Rog getting in there again. Safe jump timing. Again, you see the, oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Little stab, and PR Rock takes his chance to move in. See him blocking there, maybe an expectation of an EX Messiah. See, Eduardo with that jump back jab has been so, he's been alternating between jump back jab and focus to deal with the dive kicks, and Ricky's been having a little bit of trouble dealing with both of those. I saw part of the problem of Barog's focus there. It really doesn't have great low range. Yeah, and, and last year in the top eight, Eduardo made it look like the best focus attack ever. It's on Ricky now to try to get in. This has been all defense for PR Rog, oh, and that no. should be the round. Yeah. Again, that ultra was only built up 50% because PR Rog hadn't taken a lot of damage, but it's enough to take out that round. Match point for him. Ricky with the knockdown, oh, misses the cross up. Yeah, Barog has weird hitboxes, so sometimes it's harder to hit him. And there, see it again, that air to air, that jump back punch that he uses to stop the dive kick. Oh, nice. This, that has been the key of this match, is that 
Ricky has not been able to get any momentum going with his dive kicks. And he does again that Messiah there, but that really hasn't convinced Brog to not do that very often. Oh, no super. Wow. He's going to save it a little bit. Doesn't want to spend it unless it's going to kill him. Well, that time is not far off. Oh, headbutt Ultra. trade. Ultra. And after this Ultra, he's going to have the corner. And next hit, if he gets it, probably will be into super. And he's getting close to Chip, too. If oh, he can... Ricky chasing him down. That doesn't work. Oh, he spends all the meat. Oh, Rog might have been able to punish that with a dash punch. Nice. Speaking of punish, good timing oh. for Ricky. And he staves off being sent to losers. But PR Rock, that's why he didn't use that super early on. You know, if he had used it and still lost, he would have came to this round with no resources. But now he has full meter, and that's very dangerous. He's been doing that jab dash punch after those resets almost every time. I'm surprised Ricky hasn't picked up on that. Yeah, watch out for a lot of stand, whiffed stand forwards also from PR Rock with the option selecting the super. Good very timing. Oh, using the armor to get out of there, okay. But that's good for Ricky because he took away his super now. But look at this. Oh, he just got the super. What a read. What a what a great call by PR Rock. Knew that that was going to give him the super right there. Did the code anyway. And takes it 2-0 over Ricky Ortiz.